it's Charlotte and today's video is going to be my most requested video which is how to find motivation. Sorry it took me so long to make the video but I guess I just wasn't motivated to make the video so I hope you guys will still like it even though it's a bit late. I'm going to go through about 10 different tips for how to find motivation and what's worked for me. The first tip I have that I do every day is instead of just like going on your cardio machine and like being really boring just like staring at the time waiting for it to end put any of your study notes or a book you're loving or like your iPod or iPad and study it's a great way to keep yourself busy and get stuff done while you're working out when studying while doing cardio it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone because not only are you also making your cardio go faster but you're also studying and getting something done Okay, a second tip that has really been helping me for motivation is to write a daily schedule the night before your next day or the day of. I found that this really helps me just in general be more motivated to do more productive things in my day and get my exercising done more early because then it kind of gives you like a time frame where it's like it's now or never. My third motivation tip is to work out early in the morning. I've actually found that I run better at night, but if I'm having trouble getting motivated, and if you guys are too, get your workout done in the morning so that it's over and done for the day. If you just get up, and before you even have breakfast, I like to do my cardio fasted sometimes, and yeah, just get up in the morning, have your workout stuff already laid out from the night before, and put on your workout gear and go for a run or go do one of your workouts. It just makes it so much easier because then it's done and you don't have to worry about it or like procrastinate for the rest of the day. My fourth motivation tip is to visualize your goals. So what I mean by that is go online or even just in your head, think about where you want to be, whether it's physically or mentally. A good way to do that is follow different fitness blogs, whether it be on like Pinterest or we heart it or tumblr like where i'm mainly from <laughs> and follow different fitness blogs that promote healthy living it can be really motivating to see like other girls with like the kind of body that you have but like at the goal where you want to be and it can help you put it into perspective and think hey you know that can be me if i really put in the work and treat my body right my fifth tip for motivation is if you're having trouble a really great way to stay on track and stay motivated is to follow a fitness plan whether you create one yourself for your exercise and meals each day, or if you follow one like my one month makeover, which a lot of you guys might follow already, it can really help to motivate you and then gives you like, it kind of can make it more strict or just make it so it's like, okay, this is my template, kind of like a schedule, you know? And you're like, I have to do this each day. This is what I eat today. This is what I follow. And it can really help some people. I know that it's helped a lot of people on my blog and if any of you are interested also in my one month makeover, all of this stuff is in the description below. So yeah, as I said, following a plan can be a really good idea to help keep you stay on track and stay motivated. My sixth motivation tip is honestly just finding motivation in anything. Like even, I know some people hate on this kind of idea, but even finding motivation of like, proving an ex that you're like hot or something that can be really good motivation to get you started i feel like once you're started it's a lot easier and sometimes things like boys or like family members or like friends or whatever or like ex friends you know that you want to like prove wrong or like show them up or just like feel good you know and feel comfortable around your friends and family that can be a really great motivation and a good way to get you started okay my seventh tip is Instead of always thinking about exercise as a chore or something, it's like, oh, I have to do that. Think of it as a stress reliever or kind of like a therapy session where you know that once you've done your workout, you're going to feel so good, especially since it releases endorphins. Exercising not only builds a healthy body, but also a healthy mind. So yeah, stop thinking as exercise as a chore and start thinking it as something fun and something that's going to really make you feel good and look good. My eighth motivation tip is kind of like the daily schedule, but a really good way and a good way to motivate you is to work out in a certain time frame, like at a lunch break at work or at school. That way, you know, it's kind of your only time to work out. And if you don't do it then, then you won't be able to do it again in the day. That really helped me when I was in high school with getting in my workouts because it was so easy to make it a part of my daily lifestyle. 
but don't forget to eat lunch either. That's so important. My second last motivation tip is kind of like a pep talk. You have to realize that if you don't work towards your goals, you're not going to reach them. I feel like just saying that can be really great motivation because you got to realize like people, you know, get sad a lot that they're not where they want to be. You just got to realize that you're not going to get to your goals if you don't work towards it. That's why like not everyone has like a six pack or like, I don't know, super rocking arms or something because it's something that you do have to dedicate your time to and stay committed with. So if you want to get to a level above where you are, you have to work harder to get there. And that's kind of true with anything in life. Okay guys, so as you've been waiting for it, my last tip on motivation is, it's kind of contradictory, but don't wait for motivation. Just get up and do your workout. You don't have to wait around all day, even looking at photos all day if you're not motivated or whatever. Just get up and do the workout. Just realize that you got to do it and it's something that you do in your daily life. Motivation can help you get started because it can be hard, but really all it comes down to is just doing it. So yeah, I guess my best tip for motivation or just what can really get you up is to not worry about motivation and have that be such like a main thing as to why you do something. Because if you want those goals and if you know that working out and eating healthy will get you there, you don't have to wait around for the right moment. You don't have to wait for a Monday or the beginning of a new month. The best moment is always now. Now is always the perfect time to start. Okay guys, so I really hope you liked my how to find motivation video. I know that this is highly requested and I hope that you guys like it. I hope it didn't fall short of your expectations. But these are a few tips that have really helped me on how to find motivation and how to get up and do my workouts and eat healthy. And I really hope they can help you too. And again, if you're interested, you can find all about my ebooks on my website and on my Tumblr. And I also have photos of myself and of the other girls that have followed my ebooks. So definitely check that out if you're interested as well. Yeah, I love you guys. I really hope you liked my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks again so much, everyone. Bye.